Sunglasses are a popular fashion statement and F1 is the ideal sport to showcase the world's leading brands. But who's wearing what in the paddock? Let's have a look. Sunglasses are as much a fashion statement as they are protective wear for a driver's eyes. And in this video, I'll outline what every driver in the 2020 field is wearing. But first, a quick thanks to LuxuryBazaar.com for getting behind these videos. This company has been around for decades, specialising in high-end accessories, in particular luxury watches. If you're after a pre-owned watch, say a, a Rolex or a Hublot, or maybe even a Patek, you'll want to be sure the seller is both trusted and respected. LuxuryBazaar.com is both. There's a link in the description below. LuxuryBazaar.com. They even sell sunnies. So let's start with world champion Lewis Hamilton. He wears Police. Now, this is a brand that took over as a sponsor of uh, the Mercedes team in 2019, and Lewis uh, has worked on a collaboration with the company. And these particular glasses you'll see here are one of his collaborations. But let's go over here. You'll see the Panther, Lewis's Panther logo is here. It's also on the front of this particular design model here. Now, Lewis will wear all of these glasses throughout the year, and I've snapped him with a variety of them. And once again, the packaging very, very clearly has Lewis Hamilton as the main draw card. And when you look on Police's website, they are very strong with Lewis branding. Valtteri also wears police glasses, although he doesn't wear the Lewis designs, but here he is with Jack Ploy in the, in the paddock with a pair of police glasses on, and both drivers have the police logo down here, as you can see, quite boldly on the side, on both sides of their helmets. Let's jump forward now to Ferrari, and they have a sponsorship deal that sees Sebastian Vettel wearing Ray-Ban, and uh, I often catch him coming into the paddock, especially when he's riding his bike with Ray-Bans. Here's the logo on the side of the car, big and bold. It's also on the headrests, either side of the drivers and on the driver's helmets. Now, it's just up here and I don't have a side-on shot that I could find quickly, so trust me, that is the Ray-Ban logo there. Charles Leclerc also wears Ray-Bans, and he and Sebastian here seen at one of the races probably going back to last year it was, Testing my memory here, I'm going to say the Russian GP because of the sky. Here's Charles's Ray-Bans, and when they're not wearing their glasses, they'll often have them slung around their neck, just so that the sponsor gets some value. Now these glasses are about the same price as the police glasses, just under 200 US dollars for most of the models. Jump forward here to Red Bull. They are sponsored by Dieter Eyewear. Now, this is a step up in terms of fashion statement Dieter, and I've had a good look back through my images to find Max wearing their product. I found, I think, is it two pictures? It is two pictures. That's it. So clearly, Max is not an avid wearer of glasses, but obviously, uh, with the sponsor there, if he's going to wear glasses, it's going to be Dieter. And not only does Dieter have their logos inside the helmet, they also have it on the outside here on the visor. Despite Alex Albon wearing Dieter on his helmet, I've no photos of him wearing them in the second half of the year. But these are from the first half, where he's wearing Persol. Let's jump forward now to the Renault boys. Daniel Ricciardo seen here wearing Dieter eyewear, yes, but there's no formal sponsorship arrangement between Renault and a sunglasses manufacturer. So the drivers get to wear what they want. And Daniel, I've only found him wearing Dieter in most of the photos, although maybe you can help me here. What brand are these? I'm going to say Dieter because I know he has a relationship with one of the ex-owners, uh, John Juniper, a lovely fellow. I only have one shot of Daniel's teammate Esteban Ocon in Sunnies, and this was taken in Melbourne this year where he was sporting a pair of police glasses. Next up, we're going to Alpha Tauri. Not Alpha Tauri as I thought it was, definitely Alpha Tauri. They have no sunglass sponsor, unlike a couple of the other teams. So the boys are left to wear whatever they want, and Pierre Gasly has a new sponsor in Hawkers, and he was seen sporting them at the Australian GP recently. Now these are very good value glasses. These are in the order of 30 euros a pair. So uh, clearly a down-to-earth model, but certainly stylish, and uh, they've done a separate sponsorship with Pierre Gasly. His teammate, Daniil Kvyat, has no sponsorship agreement, but he was wearing Louis Vuittons. I'm not sure if he has a sponsorship arrangement with them, but I've captured him last year wearing them, and also this year, Louis Vuittons looking flash. 
This is a team that does have a sponsorship deal. Alfa Romeo is sponsored by Carrera sunglasses. And here is the great man, Kimi Raikkonen, in some very large framed Carrera glasses. And I often see him wearing sunnies. He is the polar opposite of someone like Kevin Magnussen, and I'll get to Kevin shortly. But uh, the logo is very clear on the car here. Carrera here, also on the front of the car. So they're obviously paying some big dollars to have their logo splashed about on the car. And of course, uh, they're also on the shirt here, and his teammate in uh, Antonio Giovinazzi is also wearing the same brand of glasses. Now, interestingly enough, last year, I took a shot of Marcus Ericsson, who was, at the time, working with um, Alfa Romeo as the reserve driver. And I took him wearing these stylish glasses, but they are his prescription glasses. So he's wearing those, but he got told off because he was not wearing Carreras and he needed to be as part of the team. So the end result was, yes, he could wear his glasses here, but he had to carry the Carreras around his neck, stuck in his clothes. And that's the power that a sponsor has when it comes to drivers. Jumping forward to Sergio Perez, and I can tell you that there is no sponsorship deal between his team, Racing Point, and a sunglass manufacturer, so he's gone out and done his own deal with a company called Shades, spelt like this. And you'll also find him very prominent on the Shades website. Now these glasses are pretty good value, just like uh, Pierre's sponsor in Hawkers. These are in the order of 30 euros or 30 US dollars a pair, so they're not gonna break the bank. And he looks pretty cool in them. Here's Sergio's teammate, Lance Stroll, proudly wearing his sunnies of choice around the paddock. Roman Grosjean has a sponsorship deal, a personal one, with Dieter Eyewear because Haas has no sponsorship arrangement with any sunglass manufacturer. So Roman is often in a, a Dieter pair of sunnies, and these glasses sell for upwards of 700 US dollars. So they're high-end fashion sunnies. His partner here, Kevin Magnussen, I have one photo of him wearing sunnies over the past three years. He just simply does not wear them. Does McLaren have a sponsorship agreement with the sunglasses company? No, it does not. So the drivers are free to wear what they want, and most recently I saw Lando Norris wearing Christian Dior in the paddock in Melbourne, looking very stylish, the 20-year-old happy to be seen in the Christian Dior's. Lando doesn't wear glasses that often, and neither does his teammate Carlos Sainz. In fact, I have two photos taken on the same day of Carlos with Sonny's on, and that harks back to, what is that, 2017 in Malaysia. So since then, I have not seen him wear sunglasses once, and we've had plenty of sunny days. And finally, the 10th team, which is Williams, has no sponsorship with a sunglasses company, so the boys are free to wear whatever they want. And George Russell I captured in the Australian paddock on the Thursday prior to the weekend, which never happened, wearing some Gucci glasses and looking pretty darn stylish. His teammate, Nicholas Latifi, the Canadian, he had a pair of Tom Fords on and looked pretty stylish in those two, I'd suggest. So there you have it. The sunglasses worn by all 20 of the drivers for season 2020, plus Marcus Ericsson last year. Remember to please like this video if you like it, and hit the subscribe button, I appreciate that. And if you want to be notified when videos pop up, hit the bell button. All of my images are available online at ProStar Picks. You'll see my blogs and podcasts at kimilman.com. And for pictures live from the track and all through the week, head to Instagram at kimilman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate.